Which is more important, giving money to the church or your relationship with people? Find out in today's study. Thank you so much for joining us. We're continuing our verse-by-verse study through the book of Matthew. This is Matthew chapter 5, verses 23 and 24 today, which says, and at the end, stick with me to the end, because we have a huge, huge challenge that could actually change a lot of your life. So check it out. Keep watching. Therefore, this is Jesus talking, therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you so bring your gift to the altar this is like uh, giving offering at church that's how you could uh, understand it verse 24 so if, you, if you've done this and you re- remember that your brother has something against you leave your gift there before the altar and go your way first be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. So the question from this passage is, it seems that God is saying, um, the things we do, like giving of offering, or teaching something, or leading a group, leading worship, all these different things we do at church are not more important than our relationship with others. And this this had me thinking, you know, why why would this comparison be this way? You know, I would think it would be more important to do things at church than than our relationship with others. And I started thinking about this. Well, in the Old Testament, we had this guy named Moses who led the children of Israel for a lot of years. And Moses, he, at one time, the children of Israel were all thirsty. They were dying of thirst. And they cried out to Moses and said, give us water. And Moses asked God, we need water. And God tells Moses, yeah, see that big, huge rock over there? I want you to take your staff and I want you to strike it. And water's gonna come forth. And he did that and water came forth. Well, years later, the children of Israel were again thirsty and they were complaining to Moses. And, but this time, Moses was angry. And God told him, this time, Moses, don't strike the rock, but I want you to speak to the rock. But because of Moses' anger, he struck the rock again. God still brought forth water and gave the children of Israel the water they needed. but. He gave the children of Israel a wrong demonstration of what God's heart was. And he actually messed up a whole big description. We don't have time. We're not going to go into the, all of it there. But he messed up what this imagery of God was. And so for us today, if we are doing things, uh, going to different movies, saying different jokes, acting like just a mean, rude jerk to someone else, and then flipping right around and saying, hey brother, I'm going to do this at church, or I'm going to give this kind of money, I'm going to do it. And then people start looking at like, huh, I guess that's what Christianity is all about. They're a bunch of double people and they're weird and whatever. We don't want anything to do with that. If that is who God is, we don't want him. We are giving a bad image of God. And his image to him is more important than you or me giving some money. He honestly doesn't need our money, but he doesn't want anything to come in the way of people actually coming to him for true salvation. So the challenge today, we're all gonna mess up. We're all gonna mess up God's image and and act like twerps and jerks. But here's the important thing, and it's what he talked about in the passage today. Now it's time to correct it, to fix it, to go to that person and get right. 
So the challenge is, think and pray today. Is there someone that God wants me to get right with? Someone that I've treated wrongly and I need to apologize. I need to tell them the truth of what God is actually like. That's our challenge for today. Think about it, pray about it, and God will take you through this. I sure love you guys.